goodness, I don't know what I would do without Amazon. We are going to do an Amazon haul of things that I absolutely am loving. Let's get into that video. Hey, first of all, you're moved out a little bit because I wanted to show you this cute shirt. Take a look at this shirt that I found on Amazon. Polka dot kind of netting sleeve that's a little bit puffy right here. Really long on the sleeve right down to the wrists. I think it's so cute. I love this big boat neck right here. I love that it's a little bit little bit lower than what I normally wear. And I didn't get the necklace. I got the necklace from Target. If I can find it, I'll link it. But the earrings I did get from Amazon. And for that, I'm gonna move you a little bit closer so you can see I have several pair, pair of earrings to put in here. But these are a little bit dressier. They're kind of a spiral hoop, drop hoop, or teardrop shape with a little bit of bling on them with the rhinestones. I just think that they're so pretty. They catch the light so nice. You guys use velvet hangers because I do. <laughs> I love velvet hangers. I love it because they don't crease my clothing. I love it because even if I'm wearing something that has a boat neck like this where the neck's quite open, I don't have to use those little, what are those little plastic things that you put over the hanger to hold it on? And it has that little velvet flocking on it so that it doesn't fall off the ends. I love these. Of course, mine has to be purple. I buy these in packs of 50. And this one I found had the gold or the rose gold on the top of it, which is fun too. Usually they just have silver. But the pack of 50 was really affordable on Amazon and I was really surprised. So I got to update my wardrobe hangers All right into a couple of beauty items. I just put this in my hair tutorial. It's the Pravana, the Perfect Blonde purple toning mask. This is great if you're somebody that has blonde hair and your hair gets a little bit brassy. Now I do know that if you're a brunette and your hair gets a little brassy, you're supposed to put blue in it. I just heard that, but purple is for blondes. So if you want something that's really going to help your brassiness of your hair, then this is the thing. And I will just use this right after I use my conditioner. I will wring out my hair with maybe a, a washcloth or a hand towel and then I will put this on while I'm in the shower doing the rest of the stuff I'll, I'll just use a plastic clippy to pull my hair up all off of my neck and then I'll let it sit while I'm doing everything else and this will last me anywhere from two weeks to longer depending on how often you wash your hair is how it's gonna how long it's gonna last I did put this in my hair tutorial as well this is my favorite shampoo it is pure body naturals restore and strengthen hair loss prevention therapy shampoo for men and women it has a DHT blocker and it's got biotin in it it's just really good for your hair it has no parabens no SLS no harmful chemicals and sulfate free I use this and I will really massage it into my scalp or use that one tool that I usually show. I will link this as well that massages your scalp and I leave that on there for five minutes so it can really do its job on my scalp. All right, that's my hair care for today. I have some nail care too. If you're wondering what color I'm wearing, it's Zoya. I I think it might be called cinnamon, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll make sure that I link the nails as well. From a company called, excuse me, this is called the Lacquer Drying Dra Drops Ultra Fast. I don't know what is in this, but it's an oil that just dissipates really quickly. I'm assuming it might have some alcohol in it. It dissipates really fast, but it does feel a little bit oily. And you just put a drop or two on your nails and it dries your nails within within like a minute, 30 seconds probably. I buy this in a pack of three. It's got a dropper on it and then you just, you know, let it dry in the air. And then I'm not kidding, within just a few seconds, your nails are completely dry. And I do use a top coat. I usually use like maybe two to three coats of polish then a top coat and then this so that's a lot of polish to dry through and I would say that within five minutes it's really ready to go and you're not gonna really mess up your nail uh, manicure too much so love that stuff and then the other stuff that I was showing was from Beauty Secrets this is a nail polish thinner so it has a little dispenser right here and basically you just drop a couple of drops into your nail polish take the top of it out, drop it in there, and then mix up your nail polish, and your nail polish is like a new polish again. And I use this especially on my top coats because I have a tendency to use the whole entire bottle, whereas a color, you might not use the whole bottle unless you really love it, keep it for a long time, but it will keep your nail polishes for a long time. I don't even know if I've ever thrown a nail polish out because 
it got it went too thick and I couldn't use it anymore because I always use this on it and it only takes a few drops I've had it forever and that's how far down I've gone with it So this is something that I keep on hand because it refreshes your nail polish and just makes it like it's brand new And it just you know spreads across with that brush so pretty and just lays out and it's beautiful So definitely love that another one that I want to talk about Let's talk a little bit off here for just a second this is called Lady Monkey Butt Friction Powder. One of you guys told me about this after I was talking about how hard it is to keep everything dry at times. Well, okay, you guys, I did do a health update that was not too long ago, and I talked about how with my health condition, one of the side effects is sweating. This is the only way that I can keep the boob sweat and the down there sweat at bay. I use Lumi as my deodorant, but I will use this on top of it to keep everything dry because I don't sweat like a normal person. I have tons of boob sweat. That's the worst is the boob sweat. And I really, it just drives me crazy. Um, even, you know, down there you get, I get really sweaty in the summer, super sweaty. And so I use this, this one's almost gone. I'm ready to order more. And I love this and it's so smooth and it doesn't ball up like some powders do and it's talc free, which is fantastic. So this is a sweat absorber and a friction fighter. It says so really like this and it does have calamine lotion in it. So if you have a little bit of irritation, it's going to help with that as well. Calm that as well. So I love this stuff. And then I've shown these brushes before, but I'm going to show them again because they are such good brushes. These are the dual sided Ducor. I think they're called Ducor. Yes. Ducor brushes. Now I have had a couple of you tell me that the set for eyes, that's the dual sided one is really good as well. I'm going to get those and try them. I love this one right here for my foundation. Works really good to put my foundation on because it's dense and it's a little bit more squatty. And I like this side right here for packing down any sort of contour, anything you want to do like that. And then the other brush is more fluffy. I like this side for uh, obviously for blush. And I like both of these sides for really buffing out the contour, the bronzers, all of that. You can use this one if you want to for powder foundation because it's fluffy and it's nice like that. But all of them are really soft and I really have been enjoying this and so inexpensive for this set of brushes. And I know I've shown it before, but I wanted to show it again. I have three blushes. I'm on such a blush binge that it's unbelievable how many blushes I have right now and I'm trying, but I loved all three of these. Now this one is from Juicy Ping. They're called the Jelly Blushers and I'll make sure that I link the color for you down below. These are so much like the MAC blushes. It's got that bouncy feel and that bouncy texture to it and I love them. This is more of a peachy color, very neutral color that just about anybody can wear that can be built up. So pretty. And then this other one that caught my eye um, says it's from Quibest. I guess that's how you say it. But it caught my eye because it's in the same type of packaging as the Fenty Beauty one, which I absolutely adore. Now, I will say that this isn't the exact formula as the Fenty Beauty, but it comes awfully darn close. This one is Blushing Rose. I don't know if this is really a rose color. It's definitely a pink color. To me, it's more of a I don't know, it's more of a strawberry pink color than anything. But what I love about both of these is they're going to dry down to a powder. So you have a lot, almost like a cream to powder formula. So that's really nice about them because you can build them up as much as you want to, or you can just cheer them out if you're really light complected. And that's what I love about both of them. Now, the third one is from Shani, and this one is Epic Final. This one is a liquid blush. This one is so hard to get just a little tiny out because that liquid comes out so fast. So I'm going to try to get just the smallest dot out that I can. And then you're going to see why I only use a tiny dot because look how fast that just came across my hand. They almost look really close to each other. This one is a little bit uh, between the pink and the peach. So you have the peach here, the pink here, and then a peachy pink over here from Shani. So that one's liquid. What I find with these liquid blushes is that they really stain the cheeks. So these stay on forever. And they have a bunch of other colors in this one as well. I really, really like this brand. Actually, I like all three brands. I like the liquid one for staining. I like the other two for mature cheeks that just, you know, need that wash of color. I love all of these blushes that I got very recently. And then again, from Quebest, this looks like the Fenty 
um, bronzers that are cream, but they're not. This is a much smaller package than that. And the other thing is, is that this color isn't quite the same color as the one I was thinking it was. They were saying that it's a contour. And even though it does look quite muddy on my finger right there, it's quite bronzy, which I don't mind as a bronzer. So I do use this as a bronzer. I don't use it as a contour. Um, I like it a lot as far as its texture goes. And I do have it on up around my face today and to do a little bit of the bronzing on my cheeks and whatnot. So that is really fun. And oh, by the way, I have the middle one right there, that cream that it looked like the fancy from Quib best as well. I have that cream in the middle on my cheeks too. So you can see that and I really like them a lot. They're very pretty on the cheeks. You just take that blush and I'm going to just put a little bit more on. You know, when I get in this light, I always think I've got too much blush on. And then when I get in this light, I realize that I don't have quite as much on as I thought I did. So let me just kind of build this up so you can see it a little bit. So pretty. It's really a pretty blush. And I just think it's something very, very special. And I love the way that it lays down on my mature skin. And my mature skin has texture. So I do like this very much. I do also want to recommend the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Uh, this is 24-hour coal eyeliner, it says. So it's supposed to be waterproof. If you have a menopause hot flash, does anything ever really last 24 hours? I think not. But I love the color of this. And I love how silky it is on my eyes. And I will try to put it right in between these two so you can see. I love the saturation of it. I love how it blends out. I love how long it stays. And I love the color of it. This one is emerald. It's so pretty. I wish that they had a bunch of other colors, but unfortunately they don't. And you can smudge it out or you can leave it really stark like that, whatever your fancy is. And I just think that this is one of those really beautiful eyeliners and that doesn't cost very much. And I have only been able lately to find it on Amazon. I'm sure Walgreens and CVS probably has it, but I haven't been into any, either of those for a long time. Then I said that I had other earrings to show you. I love these little leaf earrings it's little filigree type look and then i will just put this on this ear so you can see how cute this is this lays down just about the length of my hair and it really catches the light and they are so pretty so there's three of them there and they're the silver filigree i just think those are so much fun and they just they look so good with hair that is about this length and even if your hair was a lot shorter they would look really cute with them as well and if you had longer hair they're not going to get lost either so i think these are great earrings for just about any buddy's hair length and i love silver it's a great color for me but i do think that they had these in gold if i'm not mistaken i know that they had these in gold and another color so definitely take a look at those i think that is everything that i have to share with you today i hope that you did enjoy this haul i had so much fun getting these things, trying them out, and then wanting to bring them to you. I am going to be doing an Amazon clothing haul where you get to see some of these shirts that I use, that I wear. Also some great pants that I've kind of stumbled on really recently that I'm absolutely in love with. And kind of, you know, for the woman that has a little bit extra around the middle that kind of help out there too. So let me know in the comment section if there's anything at Amazon that I need to be trying right now. Thanks so much for being with me today. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support. I hope everybody is doing well and I'll catch you in my very next video. Love you much. Bye-bye.